Well, welcome, welcome to Hinge with the Door Dork, where door hardware nerds get together. We knock and we slam on different door fails, installs, and code violations. We learn, we laugh, sometimes we even cry, but most importantly, we have fun while we dork out on some doors. <laughs> um, today, we've got a special guest, and I will let him introduce himself, but he's the uh, host of the Lock Doc Security podcast. So, Chad, why don't you go ahead and just tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name is Chad Lingefeld, and I am the host of the Coffee Break podcast. So there you go. I, <laughs> I, I've, I've been around the industry for about 17 years. I started as a rookie tech uh, back in uh, the early 2000s. Uh, so I've been been in the field. I spent several years in the field, and uh, you know, I, I really enjoy uh, the operation side, the business development side, kind of uh, organizational growth, uh, people development, all that type of stuff. Uh, and and really have been excited about our industry and kind of the growth opportunities that we've had and how it's been evolving over the years. So uh, this is uh, this seems like it's fun. I like to connect with folks. I mean, obviously, we've been sitting here chatting for a little while. Uh, I am now heavily concerned that I have to be aware of my face when we're transitioning between <laughs> pictures. But uh, outside of that, uh, I'm I'm excited to be here and just kind of hang out and, uh, and and talk shop, I guess. I, just, I rarely get to talk shop. I mostly talk business development, leadership, all that type of stuff. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm probably a little rusty, uh, pun intended, on my, uh, on my shop talk, but we'll make it through. Well, once a door hardware nerd, always a door hardware nerd. So you I'm, know, I'm, you know, you'll get into the swing of things. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's, it's very true, though, but in that, you know, I've, I've heard that sentiment before. When you, once you get into it, it's hard to walk through an opening without paying attention to every component of it and uh, and and recognizing it. So it's fun. Nice. And uh, for those who don't already know Mia, she is the head door hardware nerd, but I'll let her introduce herself, give her uh, a quick intro. Yep. Mia Merrill, uh, senior product manager for Sergeant Corbin Russwin, Yale producer, all things door hardware nerd and Chad I'm sorry you're not going to get any personal development here today probably going to be tearing it down a little bit but you know <laughs> we're glad to have you um, and we hope you enjoy being here well I'm I'm excited and so Mia's been to our office before so she's been able to see the the place Ben you're going to have to visit at some point we'll make you some coffee uh, sounds great I am definitely a coffee addict as well as a door hardware nerd so <laughs> Um, okay, so for those who don't know how Unhinged works, um, I will share my screen. It will be a picture of a door or an opening or a lock of some sort. We react, we slam, we knock on the door, throw out any helpful tips or learning opportunities, and then we give it a knocking score, one through 10. One being not too bad and 10 being pretty knocking bad. Um, how does that sound? Should we get started? Let's do it. Right, are you ready, Chad? I'm as prepared as I can be. Oh my, <laughs> this one had surgery, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm wondering how long it takes for uh, door stitches to uh, heal. Well, these are not dissolvable staples, so someone will have to take these out. And it's just gonna explode at that point. I, um, that is an impressive uh, repair job though. Let's, let's assume that this, I mean, besides the fact that you can tell that they've been there a while, we can assume this was a temporary fix because there was no other options. They just tried to pull the door back together somehow. <laughs> the other option is, you know, putting a new door in. Yeah, yeah. A, a new door or even a, a door wrap. Like that's, that is a, a big way to, to solve a problem like that because it's not, it's not unheard of, especially in the field, right? That, that door has got a tendency to split, especially when it's been abused but that door lock has been there for a while so i'm guessing that they uh it looks like it's been modified over time because even the latch cutout is doesn't really line up right so there's they probably put in some uh incorrect screws and just split the whole door down the down the edge yeah you're you're you hit the nail the screw on the head right there because that those are uh <laughs> drywall screws in uh, <laughs> and uh yeah that that will definitely uh, split some wood right there uh, you could have some issues with that, but they got it back together. I'd, I'd like to, I would have been excited to see that process happen. How many people were there holding the door together so that they could staple it? Because that was not a one person job. <laughs> yeah, 
the, how many door hardware nerds do you need to staple the door back together? You got no. some, some clamps there I was going to say, something. you got a couple of good clamps. <laughs> okay. You're okay. As long as you got two hands. Oh, man. Yes, that's, uh, that's impressive. Uh, I think people were calling this Franken door. I, I just hope it doesn't come alive because it's already given me some. All right, uh, let's give it a knocking score. What do you guys think? Mm, on a scale of one to 10. Yes, one to 10. Today. All right. I, I mean, I've seen worse. I have seen significantly worse. So I'm going to go with a lower score here. And I'm also going to, I'm going to give it a, a, a point value as well. So I'm going to say 4.3. 4.3. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the I'm in the five or six range here. I don't know if there's any code violations. I also don't know what type of building this is in. So a uh, five I, it's kind of a middle of the road for me. Yeah, I, I would say if this is a fire rated opening, which I don't believe so, because that latch is not um, fire code compliant. But if it was a, a fire code like violation, then I don't think those are fire rated staples that could bu buff that number up a little bit. But yeah, I don't think it's too bad. Are you guys ready for the next one? All right. <laughs> what do you see at first glance? Well, we're exiting to, to where, though? There's gotta there's gotta be a stairwell, hidden stairwell. This is awfully, this is a trick photo. It's awfully yes. narrow behind there for anything to be there. Is it just like a shoot? Yeah, it's a well, how would you even the door doesn't even look like it would be able to open enough or, or you're going clear out into nowhere. It took me a long time to figure this one out. Do you, do you guys do you guys see it? Well, what is the window opening into? What is it opening into? It looks like, so at first glance, it looks like you're just going to fall right out of this building if you're like trying to exit this door, right? But because of the glass on the other side, it just mirrors the outside. So there's actually a whole other side of the building on that other side of the window. You just, it looks like you're just going to fall because it's reflecting off of the glass. Uh, okay. So not really a door hardware fail, but it definitely catches you off by guard, like, uh, like, walking through like oh no i'm gonna fall slip inside yeah that's incredible all right i wish you had um a second photo that was like what's actually happening yeah because i'm very concerned about this i don't know that <laughs> i don't know that i'm gonna buy your reflective story here i think that somebody's just just falling out the side of a building well here's the thing if you were panicking and running down this hall like trying to escape and you saw this picture like were you like you're standing right here I don't know if I would exactly want to exit out of that door. I would open it just to see. I mean, yeah. <laughs> worst case scenario. Peek in there. I mean, what if you're running from like zombies or something? Like you don't have it time. Looks, to yeah, like it's, it looks like it's only about four stories. I think that's doable. They do make like fire escape shoots. So yeah. like it could, could be, be a slide. It could be safe. It's an inflatable slide as soon as you open the door. <laughs> exactly. And we'll never know because we don't have the rest of the picture. <laughs> Brenda, who's Brenda? She she provided this photo she and she our didn't flash ship. We'll have to ask her. Brenda, get us another picture here. We're we're stuck. <laughs> we need a video of you falling out of yes. this building. <laughs> Immediately go back to this place and, and and open the door. So yeah, I, I don't think there's any necessary code violations. I think it's just kind of concerning, you know, like it, it can't I, Anytime you're in a path of egress, you shouldn't like want to have to hesitate, you know, like there shouldn't be any hesitation. It should be natural. Like you should just be able to go through that exit without even thinking about it. And I would think twice about this exit. I, I'm still concerned. I want to know what's on the other side of that door. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll never know, Chad. No, I need I, this. I this is an unre unresolved conversation here. <laughs> All right. Any closing comments or remarks before we give this final knocking score? Well, if it is, as you say, an optical illusion, then this would be, uh, then it's a one. I have a question. What are those spikes over there on the left-hand side? Is that a, are those just window handles? I think they're the window handles. Oh, okay. That seems like a you hazard. Might, yeah, no. you might not, have, you're going to be impaled uh, while you're trying to run towards the door. I don't know. If yeah, I don't know, like a uh, window violations and path of egress i'm sure there's codes like you're not allowed to have like a handle sticking out in the path of egress or something you're not Blank. a fan of brutalism <laughs> <It's> like, 
I there's mean, a lot of confusing things here. I don't even know how to rate it because I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Just an optical illusion. I mean, that's partially why they have the return on those handles, you know, on lever sets. Um, so you don't catch your coat or exactly. um, a fire hose doesn't get caught in there as they're running down the hallway. Um, hey, you, 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 you've got something there, Chad. I, I just there's too many optical illusions here. I'm not sure. This is probably like probably like a two foot door as well. It, just the way that the picture's taken. <laughs> it's one of those magic eye pictures. You got to get like really close and like cross your eyes. <laughs> Thank you, both of you, for uh, joining us today on Unhinge. Um, join us next time for the next episode of Unhinge. Our doors are always open because they're unhinged. You know. They're <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to our channel and like this video. We'll see you next time.